There's still something kind of, I'm not really 100% loving what's happening with the pinky here. It still feels just a little skinny. So I'm going to go ahead and just very crudely make it a little bit wider. Ooh. So I need to turn on my local symmetry here. Make sure I'm in move, which is the W key. That's feeling a little bit better. But I'm just looking at sort of the, the outline here, right? First of all, I kind of need to get the camera angle a little bit closer. I think the issue is this knuckle is rotated forward and is pointing up, and I did not have that. And I'm going to bring that webbing forward a little bit. And I'm going to bring the base of that pinky forward a little bit. Let's hop up to our higher subdivision level. I'm going to go to damn standard. So I see I've got this, this tissue kind of looping around here. So I want to include that. And then try to find where that is. And I think this feels a little bit too, too wide there. And too vertical, like that angle is a little bit more steep than this angle. So I'm going to bring it down and kind of tuck it in a little bit. And this thumb area here is comically over oversized. Let's just sculpt some of that back. Throw some volume in here. Kind of fill it in. We have this dent here from what I can only assume is something associated with a tendon. So we're not necessarily adding volume for a tendon. And let's just kind of smooth it a little bit, see what we have. Smooth is the wrong word. I meant flatten. Let's just flatten it here. All right. So the size of it now definitely feels better to me. Don't quite have the end of it worked out properly. Make it a little bit thicker this way. So there's a thing that happens on the undersides of fingers, and you can probably glance down at your own hands, hopefully. It might be something that's a little bit tricky to see for some folks, but the this area underneath the, the fingers is going to have a little bit of like a, almost like a U shape where it hits that first knuckle or that, that muscle just kind of attaches to the bone. So even though I don't have any reference shots of it, I'm just going to kind of gently suggest some of that stuff. And you can either confirm or deny that you have something similar going on on your hand and act accordingly. And once again, this is just our modest flatten 404 in conjunction with the uh, clay tubes brush.
So we're starting to get some nice subtlety here. What's going on with this, this meaty stuff under the fingers? There's the webbing. And as I mentioned earlier, when I was talking about how I have not added the veins in yet, you can say the same thing for the fingernails. They are one of the final things that, that I like to add. Although I do routinely see student work where the fingernails seem to have been tacked on fairly near the beginning of the process, which again, I would encourage you to avoid if possible. Avoid that sweet temptation. Just sort of, you know, some generic finger anatomy here. kind of filling in the blanks that the the reference doesn't really provide. Obviously this area there I can see very clearly in the reference. And hopefully I'm not deviating from it too much. Kind of want to make sure that this center that this uh, tendon is really oriented down the center of that finger. All right. I'm just doing a quick scan here. Maybe there's like a little bit more, some finer piling going on kind of around there, that stuff. I'd really like to get that sharp bend right there. That like last, that last knuckle, which is just at this point kind of completely missing. Ooh. So I'm gonna use damn standard. We will decide that that knuckle happens about halfway between the end of the finger and this uh, first knuckle, which is not a bad guess. I'm gonna add a little more volume right here. Just feels kind of flat and that's supposed to be kind of the top of the finger there. And that'll be the, the last little knuckle. Maybe we have just a little bit of a, a piling up of tissue there. So we'll come in with the flatten 404, just to add some surface detail so it doesn't feel perfectly smooth. So it, even if it's not exactly right, it's uh, visually consistent with the surrounding area. Okay, so I can see that this this is probably okay, but I'm gonna need to transition into it a little bit better, something like that. Basically, I, I added in, I used damp sander to add that fold there, but it, uh, didn't need to go all the way around. So, and then here, I'm just gonna start to suggest that fingernail, just by kind of carving it in, mostly just so I can understand where the rest of the stuff needs to end up. We'll do a quick cleaning pass and I can see now that I'm past 10 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this video up.